change lives, change lives, change organizations, change organizations, change organizations, change the world. So this is a, what psychologists call an attributional retraining intervention, and that just means that we're trying to change the attributions that people make for the negative events that happen to them. So when your friends go out without you, if they, they, they exclude you or they leave you behind, you don't conclude necessarily that it, it means you don't belong in general. So what happens in the interventions is that students get information. These are, um, in some of our studies, college freshmen uh, or first-year students in engineering or um, or students making the transition to middle school, um, they get information from older students about what their experiences were like uh, going into that, that new environment. And the older students they hear about say that they worried at first about their belonging. Students of all ethnicities, different gender groups, worried at first about their belonging. They wondered if they belonged, they had negative events happen to them. But that's just part of the normal transition to college, for example. That's just part of what it means to, to, to go through that difficult transition. For participating students, when they uh, learn this information, they can uh, infer that when these negative events happen to them, when they have negative social events happen, when they worry about their belonging, it doesn't mean that they don't belong or that their group doesn't belong. It's just part of the difficulty of, the, of that transition for everybody. So that changes people's attributions for those negative events. And what we find uh, in our research is that this has uh, a very uh, significant effect on students' academic achievement. So um, when we did this intervention with African-American and, and white uh, college freshmen in a predominantly white uh, university setting, the intervention delivered in students' freshman year improved students' grades, African-American students' grades, all the way through senior year. What it did was it, it changed uh, the, the trajectory of their achievement over time. It didn't just automatically improve their outcomes um, whole stock. It led, helped them to get on a positive cycle where each term they did better and better and, and had a positive slope over time. In addition, we found that a factor that accounted for this was was really this change in social construal. So in the, in the first week after the intervention in students' freshman year, we asked them uh, each day to tell us what kinds of events happened to them, what good and bad events happened to them, and how much they, how they felt like they belonged that t at that time. What we found was that the intervention reduced the degree to which when people had bad days, they felt like they didn't belong. So for African-American students in the control condition, when they had a bad day, they concurrently reported that they didn't feel like they belonged. And the treatment prevented that from happening. It helped them continue to feel that they belonged, even when they had the, the bad day. In other research, we find that with women in engineering, uh, this kind of intervention increases women's um, confidence in their ability to handle daily school stressors. Uh, it makes them have more sta higher and more stable uh, self-esteem. In addition, in, with women in engineering, especially women in heavily male-dominated engineering majors, majors with fewer than 20% women, uh, the intervention helps the women develop more friendships with men in engineering. So it, it, it helps them over time, through a variety of processes, to feel more at home in that environment. And that's really important for achievement. I think a lot of the same kinds of psychological processes may be uh, similar in workplace situations as in school situations. When you go into a, a new, especially a demanding, uh, fast-paced work environment, people will readily wonder, you know, what, what's this place like? How do people work here? How are they going to relate to me? If you're going into a work setting where you have special reasons or extra reasons to wonder about whether other people will value you and include you and respect your, you and your abilities in that setting, I think people may experience similar kinds of experiences. There's a lot of um, specialized psychological uh, techniques here that are being used to deliver the message persuasively and effectively. And one is that it's not remedial. So we're not telling people that we think you need help Here's the help we're going to give you. Instead, we think we tell people, we think you're an expert, and we want to enlist your expertise in helping somebody else, another audience that you care about. We also use uh, what we call saying is believing exercises. So we don't just tell people the information and trust them to run with it. Instead, we ask them to write about this. We give them the information. We ask them to write about how this process is true, how this process of worrying about your belonging at first but overcoming those worries is true for them, to connect it to their own experience, and then to advocate for that to an, an audience that they care about, to next year's freshmen. As part of this phenomenon is that uh, people really feel like they're the only one, and everybody's feeling like they're the only one. I taught a freshman seminar class in the fall quarter one year where 
at one point in the class, I asked the students to take 10 minutes and just write about the difficulties they were experiencing in their transition to college. These kids have been on campus for maybe a month. And then I, I, got, I collected them. I didn't have them write their names in them. I, I mixed them all up, and then I redistributed them to the students. And I had each student read one of these from one of their classmates. And what was so striking was uh, how each of these things, you only had to read two or three, describe just the ineloquent, or just articulate sort of emotive language about the, the feelings of, uh, of sort of loneliness, the struggles, the, the challenges that these students are facing. I mean, these, I mean going to college in, for many people is you know, leaving your home community, you're going to a new place, your high school friends you know, are largely not there, if, if at all. You're living in an entirely new environment. You might be in a different region of the country. The academic world is very different. How you do well, what it takes to do well, is very different than in high school. And so these students wrote this, and it was so powerful to hear. It was powerful for me, but it was especially powerful for the students, because you could just feel that this thing that they each felt was just, just unto them was, was all of us, was all of them. Change lives. Change lives. Change organizations. Change organizations. Change the world.